In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create classes, add people, post, set work, and so much more inside of Google Classroom. So what is Google Classroom? Google Classroom is a virtual and online classroom space where teachers can set work, homework, or even just to give feedback. This makes classwork more accessible and eliminates the forgetting homework at home excuse. So once you're inside of Google Classroom, you want to create a brand new class. To do this, all you want to do is go up to the top right of Google Classroom and click on this plus icon here. And then on the drop down menu, click on create class. Following this, all you need to do is enter the name of your class and any other details, for example, the subject and the room. And then click create at the bottom right. So now your class has been created, you'll want to add students or teachers to this class. And there are two ways to do this. The first way is you can add people via the class code, which is displayed up here, and you can enlarge it by clicking the display icon there. For example, you could show this code to your class and they could all enter it themselves. And this is perfect for if you have large classes or if you're trying to do multiple classes at the same time. But there is another way to do this. If you go to the people tab underneath your classroom, you can add teachers by clicking the add icon there or the invite students icon. And all you need to do is either send them this invitation link or you type in the email address of the person in this box here. And once you've added all of the students or teachers you'd like to invite, click invite at the bottom right. This option is perfect for if you have younger students or if you have a smaller class. By the way, if you are enjoying the video and interested in wanting to grow your confidence online, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time we launch a brand new video. But how do you set work and classwork inside of Google Classroom? To do this, what you want to do is click on the classwork tab at the top and click the blue create button on the left hand side. Next, you have the ability to choose out of the options, whether you want to set an assignment, which is general classwork, a quiz assignment, which is a Google form, a question, and then you've got a few other options here. But we're interested in this one at the top, which says assignment. Then all you need to do is title your classwork and then either add some instructions or some details about the task needed to be completed. And then you can add some resources by attaching Google Drive files, links, YouTube videos, or by creating brand new documents. And a brilliant feature inside of Google Classroom is that next to everything that you've uploaded, for example, I've uploaded this Google Doc here, you have the option to change how students can access this. So you can have students can view the file, they can edit the file, or it can make a copy for each student. And I'd highly recommend using this bottom one since it would mean that the students can answer directly on the sheet or they'll have a copy of the instructions. Next, all you need to do is set a due date for it and then an optional time if you want to, and then you can click assign. But if you don't want to set homework right at the, that precise second, you can go to the next option along, which is this triangle, and then you can schedule it for another time. And if you clicked on the assignment, you'll be able to see how many people have handed it in. And finally, I'm now going to show you how to post comments. Comments are a perfect way to give feedback, instructions, reminders, or general information to your class. And you have two different types of comments. You either have public ones or private comments. To post a public comment, all you want to do is go to your main stream and then click on share something with your class. From here, you can post your feedback, comment, or whatever you'd like, and it will appear to your entire class. And the great feature with public comments is that you have the ability to add or attach Google Drive files, links, files from your computer, as well as YouTube videos. But public comments are also available for students and this allows them to communicate amongst themselves, ask questions which may affect the entire class, or to share work with the teacher. But what about private comments? To do this, all you want to do is go onto an ass your assignment. Now with private comments on the left hand side, you'll be able to see if anybody has commented anything. This is perfect for one-to-one -one feedback with a student or a one-to-one -one session. Now as you can see, their private comment has shown up. 
And to reply, all you need to do is just reply by clicking add private comment at the bottom. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe as we've got a ton more content just like this. Also check out all the links and show notes in the description box below. And if you're interested in some of the best settings to change in order to make the most out of Google Classroom, click or tap the video shown on screen now. Or for another video by Google Tutorials, click or tap the video shown on screen now. And I'll see you soon.